Hey guys, I got a couple new books in today. First one I'm going to show off. Collecting Case Knives Identification and Price Guide. I've seen Stefan Smallhouse showing this. He's gotten into collecting case knives. Hopefully after reading through this, I can actually sound like I know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty excited about this. Goes into a lot of detail. I'll tell you that right now. Just from my initial look at this book, it's quite detailed. Plenty of pictures. Shows some of the older designs, different patterns. I'm looking forward to going through this. The other book, or author, maybe I should say, that Stefan mentioned, Cooper. This particular volume, here's the Leather Stocking Tales 1. I'm going to have to get the second one. Uh, I don't know much about Cooper. Only title that I recognize that he's done that's the last of the Mohicans set is the set after the War of Independence but prior to the Civil War you're talking early 1800s back when um, Kentucky and uh, Iowa and Michigan, they're all territories. They're considered the wilderness, the frontier. Not the Wild West. Not California. Iowa, Kansas, no. It's a little bit before that. I'm really looking forward to reading these. You can see there are three separate volumes in here. Um, pull this out here. Um, I had never heard of the uh, Library of America. It says here they are a uh, focus, focus, nonprofit publisher dedicated to publishing and keeping in print authoritative editions of America's best and most significant writings. Each year, the library adds new volumes to its collection of essential works. By Americans, foremost novelists, poets, essayists, journalists, and statesmen. If you would like to learn more about the Library of America and receive our annual catalog, please complete this card and mail it to us. And uh, I will note <clears throat> this book here. I'm actually very impressed by the quality. I didn't pay much that much for it. It's a hardcover. Um has sewn backing on it, not just glued. You can actually open it up all the way and lay it down without it trying to close on you, which is pretty cool. Comes with a ribbon bookmarker. I suggest anybody who gets these ribbon bookmarkers or has a book with one to uh, melt the end off or just kind of seal it with a lighter so it won't fray and fall apart on you. I also noted too, on the inside of the cover, the dust cover, they have different uh, authors and different books that they have in their collection. It says here that this book is 40 bucks, but I pay, I think, $26 on Amazon for this. Stefan also had the idea for his 1,000 subscriber giveaway contest to have a, a different entries read off a portion of the book of their favorite book. So I thought maybe I could read off the letter 
preface here. We got the letter of the preface from the publisher. So we have enough time here. Kind of give you an idea of uh, the author's style. This was sent in to New York January 1st, 1823. So hopefully I don't butcher this too badly. <clears throat> Says here, to Mr. Charlie's Willie, bookseller. Every man is more or less the sport of accident, nor do I know the authors are all are at all exempted from this humiliating influence. This is the third of my novels, and it depends on two very uncertain contingencies, whether it will not be the last. The one being the public opinion, and the other my own humor. The first book was written because I was told that I could not write a grave tale. So to prove that the world did not know me, I wrote one that was so grave nobody would read it. Wherein I think that I had much the best of the argument. The second was written to see if I could not overcome this neglect of the reading world. How far I have succeeded, Mr. Charles Wibley must ever remain a secret between ourselves. The third has been written exclusively to please myself, so it would not so it would be no wonder if it displeased everybody else. For what two ever thought alike on a subject of the imagination? I should think criticism to be a to be the perfection of human acquirements. Did there not exist this discrepancy in taste? Just as I have made up my mind to adopt the very sagacious hints, and one learned reviewer, a pamphlet is put into my hands containing the remarks of another who condemns all that. His rival praises and praises all that his rival condemns. There I am left like an ass between two rocks of hay, so that I have determined to, relinqu to relinquish my animate nature and remain stationary like a lock of hay between two asses. It is now a long time, say, the wise ones, since the world has been told all that is new and novel. But the reviewers, the cunning rights, have adopted an ingenious expectation to give freshness to the most trite idea. They clothe it in a language so obscure and metaphysical that the reader is not about to comprehend their pages without some labor. This is called a great range of thought, and not improperly as I can testify for. In my own case, I have frequently ranged the universe of ideas and come back again in as perfect ignorance of their meaning as when I set out. It is delightful to see the literary, yeah, literate of uh, circulating library gets hold of one of these difficult. Periods, their praise of performance is exactly commensurate with its obscurity. Everybody knows that to seem wise is the first requisite of a great man. A common word in the mouths of all reviewers, readers of magazines, and young ladies when speaking of novels is keeping, and yet there are but few who attest, attach the same meaning to it. I belong myself to the old school. In this particular, I think that it applies more to the subject in hand than in any use of terms or of cant expression. As I may, as a man might just as well be out of the world, is out of keeping. I am endeavored to confine myself to the, this tale strictly to its observance. This is a formidable curb to the imagination as doubtless 
the readers will very soon discover. But under its influence, I have come to the conclusion that the writer of a tale who takes the earth for the scene of his story is in the same degree bound to respect human nature. Therefore, I will advise one who may take up this book with the expectation of meeting gods and goddesses, spooks or witches, or of feeling that strong excitement that is produced in by battles or and murders, to throw it aside at once, for such, for no such interest will be found in any of its pages. I have already said that it was my own humor that suggested this tale, but it is a humor that is deeply connected with feeling, happier periods, more interesting events, and possibly more beautiful scenes might have been selected to exemplify my subject, but none of either that would be so dear to me. I wish, therefore, to be judged more by what I have done than by my sins of omission. I have introduced one battle, but it is not the most humoric kind. As for murders, the population of a new country will not admit of such a waste of human life. There must, might possibly have been one or two hangings to the manifest advantage of the settlement, but then it would have been out of keeping with the humane laws of this compassionate country. The pioneer is now before the world, Mr. Wiley, and I shall look to you for the only true account of its reception. The critics may write as obscurely as they please, and look much wiser than they are. The papers may puff or abuse as their changeful humors dictate. But if you meet with me a smiling face, I shall at once know that all is essentially well. If you should ever have occasion for a preface, I beg you will let me hear from you in reply. Yours truly, the author. New York, January 1st. 1823. Whew, that's a mouthful, isn't it? But if you read any, if, 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 if you're a reader, you read a lot of modern novels, if you ever go back to reading books that are over 100 years old or more, you will notice that the literary um, level is much higher, which I suppose is to be expected because they didn't have TVs, radios, phonographs really anything of that nature. No movie theaters. They did have theater, but, you know, a little bit different. Live action, you know, gives it a new meaning. But, I'm looking forward to reading this. Probably because, you know, I love American history. And even though all this tale is considered fictional, the time period when it is set is historical, and I have some gaps in my knowledge in that area, of that time period. But I would like to thank Stephen Smallhouse, for showing off the case knife collection here, navigation guide, and for references to Cooper. I hope he keeps up his videos. He's done a very good job with his case knife reviews, which are all connected in one way or another to some sort of book or novel. I encourage you guys to check out his channel. Thank you.